Hey guys, it's your boy Search 2 d uh, Welcome to the channel. So, today we're going to be testing Fallout 4 on the new 2015 MacBook Air. We're going to see how well it runs. I'm going to start the game off. I'm going to play from the beginning. I'm going to play for a good 20 minutes. And uh, yeah, and then I just basically tell you if the game runs well or not. And if it's playable and if you can actually enjoy it. So, right off the bat, uh, I was playing the game. I did enjoy it. It has exceptionally good graphics. Uh, and the funny thing is, while you're watching this, I have everything low. To the lowest possible. And the game the game still looks great, but the thing is, you can't... Like right now, you're seeing about 15, 14 FPS. You can't really make it better than that. Uh, and that's kind of the case. Um, there is no lower resolution. I'm on, I think, 1280 by 720 uh yeah th there's nothing lower than that so and everything's on low textures lighting um so for the macbook air i think that in most cases you're not going to be able to have a very enjoyable gameplay here um if you wanted to play the game can you do it absolutely i think you can but the thing is uh it's just not going to run as good as you think um this is a pretty funny scene the salesman comes in and, and gives you the sales pitch here about how you should sign up for the uh the uh, little underground uh, vault thing because you might get nuked if you don't so if you play the game you'll find out later that uh, yeah uh, it ends up happening and so that's how you end up underground in a vault that kind of thing uh, and then uh, eventually you, you get out of the vault and now you're outside and exploring um, but my real worry and concern is it's 18 to 17 15 frames when you're kind of like outside or near a door like like he is in this video here now um it's gonna be worse when you're actually playing the game uh in the open world because right now everything's kind of in a scripted environment so it should it should run better and the fact that it's not running very good in this particular one uh makes me a little bit worried so go ahead take a look tell me what you guys think uh, I'm still testing a lot of games on the MacBook Air, the MacBook Pro, and the 12-inch MacBook, and other laptops like the Dell XPS. So if you need me to test a specific game, leave a comment down below. If you have any questions overall about the hardware, um, or just about like which MacBook you want to get, that kind of thing, just leave a comment down below. I'm here to help you guys, um, and I uh, hope you enjoy the video. And uh, if it's your first time here, mm, let's yeah, talk. That looks nice. Let's do those perception. Intelligence, yeah. Strength and intelligence. Perception, no, screw that. Luck. Intelligence, luck. Strength. Name Knives. Call me Knives. Wonderful. That's everything. I'm uh, just going to walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Uh, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. It's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Sean has been changed. Absolutely. Hey, hon. Wow. How did you like me over this? You heard Contour. Don't worry. This game has absolutely killer graphics and models. Um, I'm really impressed with how, how it all looks. Really good artistic style. Um, everything just looks really nice in scale. Uh, just looks like it makes sense, especially for, for the time that this game takes place in. It's got that old retro feel from like the 19, I think like 40s? No, that's, no more like 1950s, I think, that television. Still pretty circular. But uh, yeah, cool little little bed there with the crib thing. Kind of a neat little addition they have here. You could play with the little thing. Kind of cool. And I guess she comes and says hello. That kind of thing. Uh, but uh, yeah, 
let's uh, let's move forward a little bit here in the video. I want to show you something. Uh, what it's more like when you're like kind of going through the, the tunnels and that kind of thing. All right, so in this scene here, we're all running away because apparently there's going to be a nuclear attack, so we need to get out of here. Um, so as you can see, as I'm running through this, this linear area, it's just like 15 FPS, so um, hands down, I think it's probably, you're not going to enjoy the gameplay that much, um, unless you maybe get some kind of custom graphics pack or something to reduce the quality even more. As of now, I would say it's not playable. What I'm really interested though is testing this out on the Pro. I think the Iris 6100 and the Pro, that, that extra power that it has is going to be able to actually make the game run a lot nicer. I'd say maybe an additional 4 frames, 4 or 5 FPS difference between 20 and 25 will make a huge difference when you're actually trying to enjoy the game. So. We'll see how that works. Sometimes games are just more optimized for more powerful hardware, that kind of thing. More powerful hardware is more powerful hardware. So uh, those are the good things to keep in mind there. What the heck? This is Barney from Black Mesa. <laughs> so in conclusion, the MacBook Air can run most games, but uh, there's just a few every now and then that come out, especially some of the newer titles that it really does just kind of kind of blow it out of the water and it just, it just doesn't run as well as I, we would hope. Um, and Fallout 4 just happens to be that. Um, if it's your first time here, I highly recommend you take a look around. I've tested a lot more games on the MacBook Air, not just this one. Uh, games that actually run decent. Um, so have a look around. Let me know what you think because I'm really all about like getting feedback and actually making the videos better, making them kind of like on par to what you guys want. I'm always looking to improve. So thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, uh, go ahead, leave a comment down below. And I hope to see you in the next one. Cheers.